Hi, welcome back to my channel. I haven't posted in a while because life has been busy, but I'm back. Hopefully I can start posting with some regularity now, not weekly as I had originally promised, but with hopefully more structure. So at first I was going to set up this account so that my content was organized chronologically, but now I am going to organize it thematically because I think themes are a huge part of history because human nature has remained something that we can always use as a precedent because despite when and where an event took place, you can always consider certain themes to be human and these themes come up constantly throughout different times. Today we're going to talk about Jacksonian democracy. This is a very controversial subject now as historians are more diverse and educated on this idea of right versus wrong. Whereas historians in the past have often overlooked the negative sides of Jackson's presidency due to this idea of manifest destiny. They believed that regardless of how wrong an act was, if it ultimately helped the United States progress and expand, it was fair. Andrew Jackson was centered around this idea of a democratic movement. He wanted to improve the political system by allowing more voters to be present while resolving government issues. He did so by changing the requirements to become a voter. For example, men did not need to own property to vote under Jackson. This could have been considered an egalitarian movement, a movement for the people. However, it is clear now that his acts were solely focused on improving the lives of white men. The Jacksonian democracy was a political party built around Andrew Jackson. It was not formed by him, but rather by his supporters after he failed to win the election of 1824 against John Quincy Adams. His supporters branched off after this election to form this new political party and in turn helped him win the election of 1828. Jackson helped increase the electorate significantly by changing voter requirements and he promoted this idea of equality. However, he did not make sure that everyone was equal as he did not help Native Americans nor did he help improve the lives of slaves. Jackson's supporters were mainly from the new middle class. This was quite a large social class and they erupted from the market revolution. They were quite unhappy with the status quo of their lives because they felt as though they were not benefiting from society nor were they benefiting from their social class. The lower classes had more social mobility than they had ever had before and the upper classes had significant influence. Jackson's supporters were super unhappy with this, so they pushed out the Jeffersonian Republicans and brought forth Jackson. They believed that he would give them a say in government, which Although he Jackson improved the life of the common man, he failed to give the same assurance to Native Americans and slaves. The former he displaced for geographic expansion, he relocated them from their homes to less than desirable conditions in these reservations. This not only caused conflict between the United States government and the natives, but it also caused conflict between tribes. They were simply pushed aside and not given any votes or rights. Similarly, racism in American politics was increasingly becoming an issue, especially slavery. The North wanted the abolition of slavery, while the South needed the slave trade for their economy. Jackson did not want this problem in his government, therefore he silenced any discussion of slavery in Congress and made it illegal to discuss slaves. This completely ripped the Democratic Party in half because of this issue of slavery and we will see this come up again during Lincoln's election. From all this it's very clear to see 
that although Jackson pushed for a more democratic government in the United States, he also made many mistakes along the way. And this topic will always remain very controversial because it brings up the idea of right versus wrong and how far one should go to expand. I hope you enjoyed my video. Sorry it was super short. Um, I'll be back soon sometime, hopefully, with another video. So, bye.